and we continue to discover the southern ridges. Okay. We're going to walk along this ridge, this metal bridge built on top of uh, rainforest. Look at that. It's really cool. Follow me. From this vantage point, you can take a look what it's going to look like. The bridge cuts through, goes down, 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 bring us all the way down to the road over there. Let's go, yeah? Time for an adventure! Now, you could say this is a Singapore style jungle eco tourism. This bridge brings you up close and personal to the tropical rainforest. We can look closely at the leaves, the birds, and the bees. Yet, the city is just over there. Part of our efforts, conservation, and also to let people and tourists enjoy nature. Not all of us are built like Tarzan or monkeys, so it's very difficult to come into a rainforest on your own. You could, but it's not fun. You could get bitten by mosquitoes. So come in a day, you can walk on this beautiful metal bridge designed with the purpose of letting city dwellers like me enjoy the beautiful rainforest. Look at those yellow flowers, aren't they pretty? Yeah. It's quite ironic because you can see new skyscrapers coming up and that is just so Singapore. More and more modern stuff, but we do our part and try our best to preserve nature as we continue walking down the bridge. The minions are actually... It's a beautiful walk. If you ever get a chance to come, it's not too far from the Henderson Waves. I walked here, in fact, from the Henderson Waves. We walk down this bridge. And down again. Speak it lower. You can look down below if people are walking up, and I'll go to walk up later. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Now, warning signs here not to feed any monkeys if you see them, and also to stay clear after a heavy rain. There, you can see this good vantage point here of how the bridge looks like. You see, we built, we really built the bridge into. The forest, right? Isn't that cool? Where can you find that, huh? Safe to walk, close to nature, <laughs> makes you feel like you are an adventurer. Adventurer. We're certainly on an adventure. And we keep going and going. Over here, there's some signposts. Henderson waves to my right, 1.2 kilometers. Restaurant Alexander Road to my left, Alexander Arch at 1.1. Let's keep going. And you do the curve right here. Two and round. And you do get people coming to admire this scenery. This is the end of the year. We are a week between Christmas and New Year. And we keep walking. Yeah. Down. Ah, you can see people jogging, running up the bridge. And it's awesome. Very good exercise, I can tell you that. Because I've done it myself. And very safe too. Because you're running on metal. Metal bridge is not a wooden shaky thing, but really very solid but just don't do it after rain or during rain <laughs> during rain because it gets a little bit slippery 
Yeah, and we keep walking over here. As you can see, it's a beautiful place. And you keep walking. And over here, there is what they call an earth trail where you can walk up directly to where I started from, which is basically a very f steep steps. Quick way up if you want to save time. But um, for some time today, so let's, let's keep walking along the bridge right down to where the road is so I can show you what it looks like. We keep going. There are modern flats. These are public housing by our good housing development board. Singapore has um, one of the best housing programs in the public housing programs in the world, if not the best, where I think uh, more than 90% of uh, households live in a public flat like these. And don't they look absolutely great? The skyscrapers. This one probably 30 stories high. And keep going. Walk, walk, walk. Good for the heart. Good for the health. Now, in Singapore, the weather is warm. Very warm right now. It's We are in December, late December, a few days before the New Year 2016. And you may be wondering what the temperature is. Well, it's probably about 30 degrees, 29 degrees, even in such a beautiful tropical jungle rainforest type of area. And it is very humid. Humid, so it uh, you feel that you gotta sweat a lot, and you can be assured that right now I'm very sweaty. So in Singapore, we do laundry a lot more often than, say, in England or in America, because our clothes, um, once you wear them once for a couple of hours and you go for a walk like this, you gotta get them washed, otherwise they stink. And that's one of the facts of life you got to deal with when living in my little country. Of course, you could stay indoors all day in what we call air conditioning or AC. Some Americans call it that way. But wouldn't that be boring? You'll be missing all this, wouldn't you? Could even start writing a poem. But I shall not. Look at the zigzag of the bridges. Fascinating, the last time I was here must have been about five years ago. It hasn't changed much, but it's still as beautiful as ever. One of the unseen treasures of Singapore from a tourist point of view. Because it's not that easy to get here. Look at that. Look at this. Whoa. Right, where do you find a bridge right into nature? And, well, great thanks to our National Parks Board government body who came up with this idea instead of building these funny staircases which you see in the distance we built beautiful bridges like this and let residents and citizens enjoy it's oh yes it's free for all you know you get in and walk here free absolutely free Although the park has opening hours, in fact, the opening hours are wonderful. It's every day from, I think, 5 a.m. till midnight. What happens at night is also a very beautiful walk because they have lights. Yeah, they have LED lights by the bottom over here. Let me show it to you. There, they have LED lights which are lighted up and the entire bridge is lighted. Beautiful and somewhat romantic sight, but they shut those lights from midnight to 5 a.m. So please do not come here in the wee hours after midnight before 5 um, because it could get a bit dangerous. But other than that, it's very safe. And you can see me enjoying my walk along the way, along the zigzag bridge. Uh huh. Now I'm headed towards the Alexandra Road where there's another bridge called the Alexandra Arch which is uh, interesting but nowhere as high as the uh, Henderson Waves earlier on. Beautiful day! Let's keep walking. 
and I come to yet another zigzag and these zigzags really make me smile because what happened is right look at look, look at why we need to make a zigzag right they need to find a way to bring the bridge across and what they have done I think is to try to avoid cutting down any trees while making this bridge so they use the natural um, pathways below and uh, if there's a big tree there like over here uh-huh or some vegetation you try not to destroy it in building a bridge you build around it and you can only do that if you have green fingers and the money to do so the respect for the environment and the determination and the willingness to do it right so well done and pass see you use the existing pathways and all that below clear as little vegetation as you can and don't cut down any trees as you build this bridge and as a resulting you get zigzags here and zigzags there which on first look you may be thinking why waste uh, why are you gonna build a bridge that's zigzag across but hey whole idea is to bring us close to nature and not cut nature down all right I learned something new today brilliant stuff the zigzags make it for fun walking too look zig and he zack and he zigzag. Cheers, mates. And then you can go right under the canopy. Look, this is beautiful, right? Build it in between large and tall, mature trees. You go right under the canopy of them. And take a deep breath and listen to the sounds of the birds. Some kind of road over there. Right over here. The canopy of the trees. And we continue. Beautiful sight. Forest walk. This is called the forest walk. Near Alexandra Arch. Near Henderson Waves and part of the Southern Ridges Trail. Worth a visit. Definitely. Yes, I'm uh, almost at the ground level and now we head towards the Alexandra Road just to give you some distances where I just came from Henderson Waves, the Lop Hill Park about 1.9 kilometers and going this way is an uphill so it's uh, gonna be a little bit tiring for me to walk back but hey, I'm off today and I'm out getting some fresh air I shall show you this part of the bridge now where it will lead us, I think to the end uh, Alexandra Arch, if I'm not wrong, but pardon me if I didn't get it correct. So, it's been a while since I've been here. Glad to see that the bridge is still in super solid condition, well maintained. Not well used on the weekday, but I think it's an unseen gem of Singapore. Especially if you're a tourist from a foreign country like in the northern southern hemisphere and you've not seen uh, tropical jungle kind of environment this place it's free of charge just need to know how to get here and spend some time walking bring lots of fluids to drink and maybe bring a spare shirt to change because you're gonna get sweaty because this is what you get to see a man-made bridge carefully constructed into a tropical rainforest on the bridge that's what you kind of do Secondary rainforest, some call this, but oh well, we've got to do what we can. Yeah, so you see over here, again, the bridge connects us right across to another seamlessly connected to a bridge called the Alexandra Arch up ahead, which leads us across the road to yet another park called the Hot Park, which I don't think I have the time to go today, but. I'll just uh, bring us all the way to the Alexandra Arch and we can end our little tour there and I hope that this in front of me is called Alexandra Road and the buildings in front of me this one called PSA Building um, so we walk here all the way up to Alexandra Arch yep over there mm -hmm. 
uh, not a beautiful man-made stylish designer bridge and you can follow the curve of the bridge down to Alexandra Road as you can see there or cross the Alexandra Arch to the other side of the road and this is called Alexandra Road well thank you for joining me on my forest walk signing off uh, from sunny Singapore goodbye